<laughs> it's good to have colleagues around and see them grow. Well, effective. So how do we know that neutralite supplements are effective? Well, because you have people like me reading the computers, looking at other people's research day in and day out. I've been here for six years now. Seriously, my prescriptions are getting worse. <laughs> but hey, our supplements are good, you know? Um, we test ingredients, we test their consistency, and we test their stability. So then they are effective all throughout that um, shelf life. So, I don't know why people think Nutrilite has an obsession with the effectiveness of your supplements. Is it because our scientists run tens of thousands of tests on hundreds of plants just to choose a couple dozen that might meet our standards? Or because we'll spend as many as 10 years researching optimum nutrient levels in a single plant? Or because to understand the health benefits of a single ingredient, we pour through the research equivalent of up to 30 novels. Pico Valentina. That's not obsession, that's Neutralite Effective. Effective ingredients for effective supplements. That's the more behind the Neutralite label. It's a rare desert 
plant, right? So we searched all over the world. There's one patch of remote desert in China. Um, there are natives that inhabit there, inhabit there, and we've contracted them to farm it sustainably. One, to help their economy. Two, it's pristine desert soil. So the sustancia that we grow is the best quality we could find around the world. So yes, we have four farms, but sometimes we need help, right? So when we contract partner farms, we make sure that they're certified with our NutriCert program. We make sure we work with them so they understand the importance and what it means to work for Nutrilite. I think it's precious, personally. Mm -hmm. NutriCert, I'm sure Bob and all these amazing tour guides have told you all about it. Um, yeah, just to show you, like, not only do we do it, we ask our partners to do it, and we have third-party people to come and inspect it. Go behind the label. We are swinging our doors open. We're inviting you to come in. Really understand, hey, where does your supplement come from? Where do your ingredients come from? So when you recommend that supplement, when you recommend that amazing complex, uh, omegas, weight loss, uh, body key, right? You know for sure how to explain um, what is going on. We have a nine-step program in this traceability that we're presenting to you. But in reality, there's so much more detail. Nine steps just represents each stage, right? It's a business process that we're trying to con convey. What is a business process though, right? Like a business process really is Neutralite's commitment and our dedication to you. Say, no matter who we hired, no matter who's the new hire, we will always do things this way to guarantee that the things that you get are of this quality. And it's been this way for 80 years. Can you believe it? Now we're talking about it. <laughs> I'll go over it with you quickly. Choosing the botanical, like I said, is it uh, basil, is it rosemary? Is it that chamomile flower, is it the desert plant? We spend a lot of time mulling over like the video said, I have 30 novels worth of research on a single ingredient. So that's why my eyesight are going bad. Mm -hmm. But anyways, the second step, seed selection. You can't have the best plant, most nutrient dense plant without that seed that can germinate into this amazing thing, right? So my colleague Lillian will talk about these later today. So just remember, there are nine steps. Choosing the farm. Is it Trout Lake West? Is it Trout Lake East? Is it Brazil? Is it Mexico? The climate's so different. The things that you can plant there is different. So it's an art. <laughs> Growing, of course, um, my cubicle mate, Xiao Zhong, he's so funny. One day I came back from um, vacation, and then there was this LED light system all propagated in his uh, cubicle, and I was like, whoa, what's going on? Like, disco for the plants? And I know he's researching different growing methods, you know, to be sustainable, to be eco-friendly, to be more efficient in sort of a way. Like, when the weather is bad, how do you make the plants grow at the same rate? So he was experimenting with the LED lights. I don't know how it went, but you know, certainly interesting to see in the office. Harvest, like I said, you know, they rush from the farm to the plant because we have a rule and you have to get it there to ensure the freshness and the quality. Uh, extracting, my coworkers, they're engineers, so Michaela is my um, cubicle mate on the other side. She goes to Washington for a couple weeks at a time. And I'm always like, what do you do there? It's so boring. There's 
nothing there, <laughs> just the farm. And she's like, oh my god, she has to extract and make sure these big tanks they extract into a liquid, right? But how do you put it into a tablet? So she says they pump it through a pipe, they spray it onto a dryer. But the velocity, I guess, how much you spray? Is it a fine mist? Well, if it's too fine, it clogs the sprayer. So okay, you adjust it so it sprays more. Well, if it's too wet, it doesn't dry right. So she spends weeks there just adjusting these little things on the on the machine. Like, I don't really know, I'm not an engineer, but hey, people are doing this every day. So then our supplement is Manufacturing, what Sam was introducing you to you, you know, the safety, the quality assurance, all that goes into manufacturing. Packaging, of course, we design it ourselves too, so that's kind of fun. And there you are, you're a part of our process. We're so happy for you to be here and take the time to understand how much work and what really goes into the supplements. Birth certificate, did you know? At first I was like, birth certificate? It's more like a birth locker because every ingredient from the selection to seed and all that takes a lot of documentation. We check the boxes, we document who did that, when did you do that? So it's not one piece of paper. Certificate of analysis. So. If you ever work with vendors, they usually will give you a certificate of analysis. But the funny thing is, we, after we receive the ingredients, we test it ourselves. Everything that they say they have, we test again. It's ridiculous. Who does that, right? But that is the Neutralite promise, that the things that you get are indeed what they are. How do you know? How do we know? We test it. We really know each step. Uh, phytonutrient DNA fingerprinting. So, you know, we want to know what the makeup of our botanicals are. Um, is this botanical better or that botanical? Have you ever gone like fruit tree picking and like you pick your own fruit and you weigh it at the end? Yeah. So the first time I did that, I had no idea. I was like, oh, they're all peaches. And then you eat them, and you're like, they're not the same. One may be more flavorful, the other not, right? That's the phytonutrient in there that's really making a difference. So by fingerprinting, you can really see, um, see objectively, right? There's a machine that tells you there's more stuff in here, and there's a lot of luck. So we know which one to choose. Uh, my colleague Ivana will talk more about this later today too, so, you know, look forward to it. So, don't take our word for it. Like I said before, we have third-party people to come and certify us, to audit us, to look at what we do, because sometimes when you and I are buddies, we say, you got it right? Yeah, I got it. Thanks. You know, but hey, let's not do it this way. Let's be honest and transparent and have a traceable, responsible way to show people what we really do. So here we are, you know, Neutralite Traceability Program. We are really trying to let you know why, where, how, and who. Why is it safe? How is it pure? How do you know it's effective? Because of people like me, and because of, there's people like you who love this kind of product. So thank you so much for your time.